activate. Hey guys, this is Bryce Jackson, and now I'm going to show you how to use Unity 3D, which is a 3D game engine used to create high end games for the iPhone, iPod Touch, um, PC, Mac, and the Nintendo Wii. And I'm going to show you how to uh, do a first person shooter game. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create terrain. Alright, first you're going to start off by going, opening up Unity, first of all, and you'll probably see the island demo scene, and we want to create our own game. So you're going to go to File, New Project, and you just name your project, and for now just name it Tutorial or Demo. And you'll press Create, and it'll take a, a few minutes to load all the assets and everything. Alright, and then you'll just get this screen right here. What you're going to want to do is first go to terrain, click create terrain, that's fairly simple, and it comes up with this gray square. And it's too big for now since we're just starting off and it's very large. So we're going to go to terrain, set resolution, and change the width and the length both to 100. Press set resolution and now you can see it's a lot smaller alright we don't want just a gray barren landscape so we're gonna add grass to our terrain over here you'll see many icons uh, telling you what you can do with your terrain but first we're gonna go to the paint terrain option right here and go to edit textures add texture and click this splat over here and it comes up with all the textures that you have and um just choose any one I guess but for right now I'm gonna use grass heal and you'll click add and now our terrain is grassy alright now when you press play all you can see is this right here in your game you can see this 600 width um, grassy square so we don't want that. We want to be able to see it from a first person view. So you're going to go over here to your project view and you'll see standard assets. You'll want to click that triangle and you'll see prefabs and you'll see all the rest of this stuff. And you want to uh, click the prefab triangle and you'll see a first person controller prefab. And what you want to do is drag this over onto your terrain. and by default it won't be in a good position where um, you can see it but press F to focus on your character and as you can see mine's right from the edges and to get that yours probably won't be like this but you want to go to position and for the X value you want to have 5 for the Y value you want to have 1 and for the Z value you want to have 5 you'll press enter and focus on your character with the F key and press play alright as you can see I'm looking around with my mouse as in a first person game and you can use the W A S and D keys to walk around and you can look around just like a first person shooter game so so far we don't have a weapon alright now I'm going to show you how to add some advanced features to your terrain Alright, what you'll want to do is click on terrain. And you'll want to click on this icon. It's the raise and lower the terrain height icon. And you'll want to use this second brush right here. And you can change the brush size around. Let me zoom out. See how large it is. And just for the purpose of this tutorial, I have a full 100 size brush. And I'm going to make a kind of a mountain just click where you would want it and go in a circular motion and look it's being raised into a mountain and I'm going to do this around here a little bit I'm 
okay and press play and when you go into game mode you will see that there are little lumps coming out of the gra ground sorry and uh, that's where you just race the terrain and yeah it's very simple to create your own special unique terrain and now I'm going to show you how to add trees or other plants you'll click this icon which looks like a tree under terrain and you'll go to edit trees add tree you'll choose a tree in here and right now all I have is palm tree but you'll click that and you'll press add and the brush size like again uh, shows you the area which you want to select the density how many basically how many trees you want in that area uh, and tree height and tree width and I'm gonna have a pretty thick tree my height's a hundred and you're just gonna press somewhere even on these uh, mounds and there you have trees on your little island and of course the more trees and more landscape you have the slower it will go but my computer is pretty fast so I have uh, plenty of trees now and mountains so there you have it and the last thing for this terrain tutorial is going to be adding light to your scene because it's really dark in there so what you will want to do is go to game object create other and point light and you'll want to go over here and uh, change the range really high pretty much the size of the whole island and the intensity you want to go to 8 for now and you can always change that 8 is the highest and so you want to go to your move tool which is right here and to do that on your keyboard just press W alright you want to move this around until you get light in the areas that you want and for now since my character's over on that edge I'm gonna get light over there and then press play and as you can see there's plenty of light on your island and as I said you can um, customize that with the intensity and the range and the spot angle and I want to show you one thing as you get towards the edge of your terrain and you go off of it you can fall off and as you'll see you can't see the terrain and the trees go black alright and since you have finished your terrain you probably want to go to file save scene and then after that you'll want to save your project so you can continue in the next tutorials and as a last um, thing you want to delete main camera and you'll do that by clicking on it and right clicking delete or just clicking on it and pressing your delete key on your keyboard and the reason I did that you do not need a you do not need two cameras because um, as a sub item of your first person controller there's already a main camera Thank you for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for part two.